Hello and welcome, welcome to yoga class. I'm your host, Jason. <laughs> We're going to start off class today in seated pose. So just ground down through your sit bones. Straighten your spine. Take deep breaths, deep inhale, full exhale, and keep going with a slow breath, start to relax. Today's class is going to be a 20 or 30 minute class, and it is going to be focused on relaxation. It's a, a moon focused class, which is calming and relaxing. Uh, so we're going to accomplish that by some forward folds and a few other things to, you know, some breath work, slowing down the exhales to really get relaxed. So continue to take few more deep breaths, deep inhale, full exhale. So we're going to start the class by doing a, a lunar based breath, um, or pranayama technique, and this is going to be the same technique that we're going to do at the end of the class, but we're going to start right now with one minute, and then at the end of the class, we'll do a three minute breath and just kind of get some comparison and, you know, see how the relaxation went for you. So uh, what we're going to do is left nostril breathing. Um, the left nostril is the lunar side and it's the calming side and it calms the right side of our brain. So what we're going to do is fold over your first finger and middle finger and then in your left hand, put your left hand in Gyan Mudra which is your first finger and your thumb connected together. So with the other hand, you're going to block off your right nostril with your right thumb. And then for one minute, we are going to breathe outside of the, or out of the left side of our nostril only. So let's start that up now. Keep going, take long, slow breaths out of your left side only. So your right side is doing absolutely nothing, being blocked, and it's all happening on the left side. Really focus on the calming effect that this is having, the slow, relaxing, feeling that you're getting from it. A couple more breaths. And then lower your left hand, sorry, your right hand, and you hold your palms open and just Feel the relaxation. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then from here we're going to stand up into the asana pose, also called mountain pose. Uh, this, since this is the first tadasana pose of the day for us, we're going to have our feet 
shoulder width part. Uh, you can tell shoulder width by putting your two fists together and just kind of matching it up there. So we'll have our palms open, have your shoulder blades back and down. So you really have this relaxed feeling in your shoulders. Grounding down through your feet. Lift your toes for a moment and feel how that is. Take a deep breath in and a full exhale out. While your toes are up still, bring your heels together without actually lifting your feet off the mat. Just feel that your heels you know, pressing in towards each other, and you can feel that all the way up to your pel pelvic floor. Really feel that sturdy foundation. From here, we're gonna do a few half salutes. So the breath that we're going to use here is we're gonna start off with four, a four count inhale, and then a four count exhale for a couple breaths. Four count inhale, six count exhale for a couple breaths, and four in and eight exhale for a couple breaths. So the first one here, inhale as you reach up to the count of four, and exhale as you fold forward, two, three, Four. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, one, sorry, two, three, four. Exhale, six, two, three, four. Five, six, inhale four as you come up. Two, three, four. Exhale six as you fold forward. Three, four, five, six. Inhale as you come up. Two, three, four. Exhale, really slow it down for eight count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale back up to four, two, three, four. And exhale eight as you fold forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold on the bottom here in our forward fold. I'm gonna take five breaths here. Just really feel the stretch. So we're going to do cat cow, and we're going to use that same <clears throat> breath technique of four in, four out, six in, four in, six out, four in, eight out. So just take a few breaths here in tabletop. 
few deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale slowly. On your next inhale, inhale to cow pose to the count of four. Exhale to cat to four. Press the, the ground away from you. Inhale four to a cow. Exhale four to cat. Really pushing the ground away. Inhale four to cow. Exhale six to cat. Inhale four, cow. Exhale six, the cat. Inhale four, cow. Exhale eight, and really slow it down on this one to your cat pose. Inhale four, cow. Exhale eight, to Come back, <coughs> come back to tabletop. And come up on your knees. So our next pose is going to be gate pose, and from our kneeling position, we're going to start off on the left side. So while your hips are facing forward, you're going to extend your left leg out, straight out, so you're kind of forming this perpendicular line here. We're going to reach up with our right hand. And then we're going to, as we exhale, go to the side, bend to the side. And we're going to hold this for five breaths. And you want to use the same breathing technique of four inhale and eight exhale. So really let's slow it down here. Really get into those side ribs. Press down your right knee as you lift up through your right arm and reach it over. Try to keep yourself in a straight line if you can, straight with your, with your left leg. Bring it back up with your right hand. Bring your right hand to your hip and bring your left knee next to your right knee. Take a breath here. Then your next exhale, extend your right leg out. Reach your left arm up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale as you bend to the right. Only go as far as you feel comfortable with. Once again, the, the breathing is four inhale and at eight exhale. Make sure in this pose that you're not dumping forward as you're stretching. You're just gonna wanna go straight right over to the side here without going forward at all.
Take your right hand and you can place it on your leg if that's comfortable. And reach your left arm up. Put your left hand on your hip, right hand hip, and bring your leg back in. Take a few breaths here. From here, we're going to go into staff pose. So, take a seated pose with your legs extended forward. This is hard for you. You can also make your feet a little bit wider. Give yourself a sturdier base. So from here, we're going to do some dynamic forward folds. And we're going to do the same breath as we did in the beginning of the class with the forward folds, where four inhale, four exhale, four inhale, six exhale, four inhale, eight exhale. So Reach up as you inhale for four, and then exhale as you fold forward, two, three, four. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale forward, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Four. Exhale for six. Make sure your back is straight and you're not bending your back as you're coming in. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale for six, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, come up, three, four, exhale, down, eight, and on this last one, we're going to hold for five breaths, and keep that four inhale, eight exhale breath going. If you can't reach your toes, you can put your hands on the side of your legs. Just so you can make sure that you are not jumping forward and rounding your back. If you have a blanket handy, you can use that as well, just to kind of prop you up a little bit and give you a better stretch. So you might want to turn on your mat. And once again, we're going to do that same breath technique as we used before. And why forward fold is not for everyone. You may not get down very far. I mean, this may be your, your forward fold, you know, um, so just do whatever you can, whatever feels comfortable. Like I said, if you're in, in any kind of pain, 
then you've gone too far. And it, it's also nice too, you could grab onto your pants and kind of help yourself if, or use a strap if you have one. Um, so those are a couple different options to, to make it gent gentler on your, your body. So on an inhale, we're gonna reach up, two, three, four, reach forward, two, three, four. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale forward, two, three, four. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale forward, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale forward, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale down for eight. Once again, we're gonna hold on this last one for five breaths, keeping our four inhale and eight exhale count going. You guys are doing great. This is a tough pose, so be gentle with the pose and be gentle with yourself. Maybe on the last breath, see if you can sink in a little bit further on the exhale. Inhale up, two, three, four. Bring our arms down. Turn to the side of your mat again and let's go into Pose. Take a couple breaths here. Like kind of stretch what you did in your forward fold. Hold on to your feet, your ankles, knees. If it's uncomfortable, also you can bring your feet forward, kind of making it a little bit longer of a, of a butterfly. So let's bring our knees together, come down to our mat, hug our knees in for a couple breaths. Maybe roll side to side. Off to the side in a T-shape and then drop your knees to the right side for a little twist. Look over to the left. Next inhale, we're going to bring our knees back up to the center. Bring your head back to center. Exhale, knees down to the left. Look over to your right.
Try to keep your shoulders down on the mat. center, head back to center, hug your knees in. Extend your legs out for Shavasana pose. Cover up in any way you need to make sure you're comfortable. Since we did some relaxation work you might be a little bit chilly because your, your body temperature has gone down. So, you know, make sure you put on socks or a blanket. And then just take these final moments to really relax. I mean, we, we've done the work, you know, to get ourselves into this relaxation state. And now it's really time to, you know, finish it off. You know, this is, this is what we are really leading to is the Shavasana pose. So feel everything that you've done and feel the relaxation and just lay here. Slowly start to come back into your breath, into your body.
So then the last thing we're gonna do is the alternate, sorry, not the alternate, the left nostril breathing once more. We're gonna do it for three minutes this time and see what kind of difference it has um, after we've done this relaxation class. And we'll do it for three minutes. So once again, Gyan Mudra with your left hand on your knee, first finger and thumb touching, and then with our right hand, hold our first finger and middle finger together and block off our right nostril and breathe out of the left. And we'll start now. You want to take long, slow, deep breaths. Really concentrate on the relaxation. We have one minute left, so make sure you really make it count. Take a deep inhale with your left nostril. Hold your breath at the top while you squeeze your pelvic floor. And exhale. Hopefully you really noticed a difference there between the first time you did it and the second time you did it. And after we really focus on relaxation and deep breathing. So we are going to end class with the sound of three ohms. You can put your hands together, take a deep inhale. Thank you.
for taking this 30 minutes to do something for yourself and take this peace that you have cultivated and spread it to everyone that you come in contact with. Namaste.